Isaac Shelby was born December 11, 1750, in Hagerstown, Maryland, in Frederick County, which is now Washington County. After Pontiac's war, his family's fur business was destroyed. They headed to Bristol, Tennessee in 1770. Lord Dunmore's war began in 1774, where Isaac served a campaign against the Shawnee and Mingo Indians. He served during the American Revolution, and his biggest role came after the British captured Charlestown, South Carolina in 1780. Shelby was actually in Kentucky at the time, doing surveys. So he gathered up men and led them to victory at the battles of Thickety Fort, Kings Mountain, and at Musgrove's Mill. For his political career, he served in Virginia and North Carolina's governments in the 1780s, but left to Kentucky in 1783, where he lived at Boonesboro and married Susanna Hart. They had 11 children. Shelby was a big force when it came to Kentucky becoming a state and separating from Virginia. With his military pedigree and his political prowess, on June 1, 1792, he was unanimously elected the first governor of Kentucky. During his governorship, he convinced George Washington to send troops to help settlers against Native American attacks. And then after his first term as governor, he retired to a quiet life that didn't last long. The War of 1812 was nearing, and on June 18, 1812, the U.S. declared war against Great Britain. The push for Shelby to run for governor and lead Kentucky in the war was strong. And on July 18, 1812, Shelby announced his candidacy and was re-elected becoming the fifth governor of Kentucky because of the war. He was the first governor to serve separate terms. He wrote many correspondent letters with James Madison and Andrew Jackson. In 1820, he was diagnosed with paralysis in his right arm and leg. He died of a stroke on July 18, 1826. He is buried at Traveler's Rest in Lincoln County. On a negative note, he was a slaveholder and left his slaves for his children in his will. I hope you've enjoyed learning about Isaac Shelby, Kentucky's first and fifth governor. Shelby County is named after Governor Isaac Shelby. Don't forget to try out audibletrial.com slash kyhistorypod to get a free book of your choosing. Like, subscribe, and share this video and the Kentucky History Channel for more Kentucky history content. If you want to support the channel, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod and find us on Twitter and Facebook at kyhistorypod and also now on Instagram at Kentucky History Podcast. And don't forget to try out Kentucky History Podcast on all the podcast platforms for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.